Yo guys, what's going on? It's Matter Skiga here, and uh, made a video a while ago going over the best quality settings, and since then I've changed mine to make my videos look even better, so I figured I'd bring you guys another tutorial, uh, letting you guys know what's up. So uh, here you can see this is my uh, Hopog, Hopog, ACPVR recording thing, uh, like ArcSoft Capture, Total Media Extreme, whatever that is. Um, here's the stuff, the, if you're, you should be recording with component cables, that's like the best thing you can do for, uh, the HDP VR. The audio input should be, uh, RCA back, and then the, uh, it should be two channel stereo. Um, and then the device settings is just like brightness and stuff, you don't have to deal with this. If you want to change stuff, I would recommend changing it in Sony Vegas, so that way you can play around with it and you're not stuck with shitty contrast settings and stuff like that. But uh, basically, what you want to do is you just want to make sure you go to Format Settings, and you can see the input resolution here is 1280 by 720 at 60 frames per second. Um, you you probably want to have 60 frames per second, especially if you're planning on doing montages. Um, you can do here. I'll show you guys right now. This is the other stuff here, real quick. Um, bit rate. If you have a decent computer, a good computer. Put the bitrate as high as possible. If you don't, you can bring it down and put on like a 10 or like a 7. Just like do it. Because I think if you're... On my old computer, I tried high bit rates and it always crashed. And then I lowered it and it stopped crashing. So um, just see if that works for you. And then um, just kind of mess around with it. Then apply those settings. And I'll go into the uh, Xbox uh, menu here. And we will go over to uh, settings, and I'll show you guys the settings that you should be on. Uh, go to console settings, display settings, HGTV settings, and I have it on 720. You can record in 1080i with the uh, PVR, but it will only give you 30 frames per second, and I believe it's 1920 by 1080, which is decent, which is good quality, obviously. But you're only getting the 30 frames per second. Um, I prefer having 60 frames per second. You can always drop it down to 29.97 once you're in Sony Vegas. That's what I do with gameplay videos typically, so it's not as long of a render. But uh, just go with 720p, and uh, you're good for uh, right there. And that's all you got to know for the uh, actual thing right here. Now, uh, if you go into Sony Vegas, this is Sony Vegas 11, but it's all pretty much the same, everything. But uh, you want to make sure you go to... Uh, properties before you start anything and then um do the uh this is a normal template i believe hd 720 by 60p and it's 1280 by 720 at 59.94 frames per second that's pretty much the best you can do that matches your uh, pvr settings uh width is 1280 by 720 field order is none 1.4 zeros um zero degrees um this will match if you change this here you see, this is what I do for gameplays. I go to my property, and I go down to frame rate, and I change it to 29.97, and you see it changes it up here. Instead of dash 60p, it's dash 30p, and it changes it down to half the frames per second. So um, that's just what I do to save render time, but if you're working on like a montage or something, you definitely want to have it at 60 frames per second. Um, all 32-bit, full range, 2.222, um, best, uh, Gaussian motion blur, de interlace method, none. And then uh, once you do that, um, actually, I don't think you have to change anything in the audio. I didn't. Um, yeah, I just leave that as is. It works fine for me. And then just do uh, start all new projects with these settings, apply, and then OK. And then you make your whole video. You got the whole thing in the timeline. And then you want to render it out. So um, I probably got to import a clip here because... Um, let's see... Here's an image from a montage that I'm working on. So you just got that kind of, and there you go. This is on half, by the way. I recommend doing that. If uh, your computer is not awesome, it lets you preview it better. But then basically you can go to uh, render settings, and then I have a couple different presets here. This is for my gameplay, obviously. This is the 29.97 frames per second. This is the uh, 59.94 frames per second right here. So I'll just show you the best settings right here. Uh, customized template should be on this, the 1280 by 720 um, unless you're recording by 1920 by 1080 and getting 30 frames per second I wouldn't recommend doing this because it's probably going to stretch it or pixelate it a little bit more you want to typically match all the settings between the 
um, actual like video itself and the render settings and the property settings as best as you possibly can. So go with the 720 here. Um, profile should be main. Um, obviously the frame rate is 59.94. Um, check allow source to adjust frame rate. Field order none again. Pixel aspect ratio one. Um, variable bit rate maximum 10 million. Average 10 million. Crit mode automatic. Encode mode automatic. Enable progressive download. And then audio again. I don't think I did anything. And uh, make sure you have video rendering quality at best. And uh, this should be on pro use project settings. Then once you're good with there, you can save that, do whatever. And then when you have to render a video, just click on this one. If you're in Sony Vegas 11, you have to do, I make it like a favorite and then like show favorites only, that kind of stuff. And uh, that's pretty much it, guys. Those are the best settings that I've been able to find. And um, I'll just show you guys a couple other things real quick. Um, in terms of color correction, I usually don't add much. A lot of times you'll see people's videos that... Um, have like come up with like color contrast settings or something like that where they'll be like oh it's good to increase the contrast by this and like bring out the mids or something like that but that works on certain maps like what works on like a high rise isn't going to work on a hazard because it's too like hazard from black ops and high rise from modern warfare 2 it's two completely different color schemes so it's going to mess up the colors and a lot of times you'll see like the color imbalance way off and you're like whoa there what are you doing buddy so, um, pretty much all I do is if you're in Sony Vegas 11, you go to levels, and, uh, I think I, in 9, it's, um, what was it up here? I think it's color corrector, yeah, it's color corrector and color corrector secondary, there's two of them, but in Sony Vegas 11, which is what I'm using, it's levels, and, uh, just use studio RGB to computer RGB, and real quick, I'll go here, and, um, go to full, and that's a picture you can see, that's not a great quality picture, could have done better, but, um, and then here you go and drop that and you can see that it darkens all these colors in here if we go to here just watch the uh, screen I'll uncheck this like that it's kind of hazy right now and then I check this and it just makes everything look a lot better also what you want to do is um, a lot of times when you record the HDP VR it's gonna create like black lines around like on the top and the side um, you want to just make sure you have these two size about center checked and lock aspect ratio checked then just drag in a tiny bit like that so you're not cutting off anything but you're just getting rid of the edges and then just save that I already have a preset HDP VR and you'll see it drags it in if I go to default it just brings it all the way back out HDP VR moves it in a little bit do that on every video and um, you should always you generally don't have to but you can if you want to maintain uncheck maintain aspect ratio and then uh, definitely disable resample if you're working with a video or clips or something like that because it'll make it um, look a lot smoother and uh, that's pretty much everything I got for you guys today went over the uh, recording settings the property settings the render settings and just a couple extra things to make your video look extra special so um, if you enjoyed the video guys I'd really appreciate a like comment anything that you feel necessary or you want to do and uh, if you want more tutorials like this I'll be more than happy to make them for you guys and uh, thanks for watching guys have a good one